Oh boy, do I have a treat for you guys. So, remember a while back, maybe two to three weeks ago, right, where I made a video with this particular vehicle in the background. And the video basically summed up the fact that G-Body guys don't like to spend money on a suspension, but a large majority of you were only focused on the car in the background saying, oh bro, that has a dope stance. Whose car is that? That is beautiful. I love that car. And I made it my business to figure out who owns it. And for the longest, it was the biggest mystery until today. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to you Keith Archer, aka The Wabbit on Instagram. <laughs> Under the hood, isn't it? This thing is a drift car. We turned a G body into a drift car. Under the hood, isn't it? Liz? We're talking about a G body that drifts better than your wife's panties to the side after two mimosas. Bro, this G body nastier than a nun trapped in a sausage factory. We're talking about nastier than a lesbian in an ice cream licking competition. So yes, it's definitely been LS swapped. It has a manual trans. I mean, I'm quite sure it does since it is a drift car. No power adders, just naturally aspirated. And from what I'm seeing in the background, it has a tubular front end. And I'm not even finna lie to y'all. I'm gonna tell you why I like this G-Body so much. Because it's giving, like, NASCAR build before the restrictor plates. He even has lines to cool the brakes down. You know, the orange, the orange tubing right here above my head. Orange tubing. Yeah. See, anybody, any fool could go to the light and buy a high horsepower vehicle. But only legends could build things like this from the ground up. This is a work of art. The stance, the body, this thing is seriously, bro, this is a fierce ride, dog. And as you can see, it's not limited to Nissan S13s and 14s and 15s or uh, 300 ZXs and stuff like that. Take your G-Body to the to the uh, drift track. I'm sorry, y'all have no idea how long it, it literally took me from the day that I posted that video with his picture in it up until like um, early this morning to find the owner. I kid you not, I scoured throughout the comments, the likes. It was like 12,000 of you that liked that video on Instagram, on my Instagram. And I finally found him, you know, Keith Archer, the Wabbit on Instagram. Make sure y'all follow him pronto because builds like this are the ones that don't get a lot of appreciation, you know. Like I said, anybody could go buy a high, a high horsepower muscle, muscle sedan or muscle car or muscle truck. But vehicles like this are the ones that become cemented in history as some of the most legendary builds we've ever seen.